your Storm Tracker Team forecast with Jesse Gunkel. Welcome back. Well, that slow moving cold front has made its way through, and conditions are going to steadily improve as we head into the overnight hours. Watch that cold front push to the coast. Right now, we sit at 90. Our winds are calm, but they have shifted out of the north. Expect those winds to start picking up anywhere from 5 to about 10, and that's what's really going to drag in some of that comfortable air over the next 24 to 36 hours. Feels like 93 at this hour. Tomorrow, we're only calling for those feel like temperatures to sit maybe in the lower 90s, and that's again at our peak versus what we're used to seeing, those feel like temperatures in triple digits. 91 was that official daytime high today, just two degrees below normal. As you notice here, we had feel like temperatures in the mid-90s, but quickly dropping by Thursday as we knock down some of that moisture in the atmosphere on the backside of that front. But it doesn't last long. This break from the humidity, it's going to be pretty short-lived. So we're still calling for some hot afternoons. But it won't be so sticky outside, especially as you head into those morning hours. A lot of sunshine ahead of us, nice and dry until most likely Sunday. That's when we'll get back to typical August. That's when we're going to get back to those afternoon showers and thunderstorms. It looks like storms are going to become more numerous as soon as we step in early next week. Doppler radar things are clear and quiet outside. The clouds have moved on. As you notice, clear skies overnight. We're going to drop those temperatures into the upper 60s throughout the day tomorrow. Mostly sunny out there. Maybe a coastal shower, but further inland, we're not going to have to worry about that rainfall until probably Saturday. And again, even then, I think it's rather low. Maybe an isolated shower on Sunday. But as you see here, Monday and Tuesday, Tuesday, scattered afternoon storms with a chance for some heavy rain at times. And also, obviously, we're going to ramp up those humidity levels. Otherwise, keeping an eye on the tropics at this point, very clear and quiet out there. Nothing is expected over the next five days, but we've got a massive storm out in the Pacific, and it's heading towards Hawaii. One point today, it was a Category 5. It's still a major storm, a Category 4. And look at the path of this system moving just to the west of the Big Island and then heading towards Oahu, possibly as a Category 2 storm. Notice it's going to be sliding towards Friday before eventually hooking, almost following the path of the island chains here. Again, it's a very dangerous situation because they could be seeing localized rainfall up to about 20 inches in some spots, and that will definitely lead to some landslides. And also, look at these massive waves. We're talking 25 to 30. So, again, very dangerous situation for a lot of those in Hawaii. All right, seven day forecast. We've got 89 out there with an overnight low of 70, maybe even dropping into those 60s overnight. By the time we roll into Friday, a little bit more sunshine, 92 outside, still not too bad out there. A little bit more cloud cover on Saturday, Sunday, the chance for a few afternoon storms. And then next week, it's obviously typical summer. It's back. So we're calling for highs in the low to mid 90s, overnight lows, mid 70s, and feel like temperatures, well, back into the lower 100s, along with those daily afternoon storms. And just remember, you can always 